My name is Tony Udin and I pastor Tower Hamlets Community Church here in East London. So I grew up on a, a large, fairly rough council estate in South London. My dad was a Bangladeshi Muslim. My mum was not really of any faith, so we grew up in a very mixed house. From about six, seven years old, I was going along to the Bible class. They told Bible stories, played football. I saw really what Christian service looked like. And that really, really impacted me. They used to take us camping. It was the only time we'd go out of London at all in the year. The speaker was uh, a London City missionary called Bill Dean. And I remember responding to the gospel during that camp. I realized that I needed to make a personal choice to follow Jesus. Tower Hamlets is such a diverse place, but actually most of the time, we're just talking about separate communities that live and work alongside one another, but don't really integrate. So one of our big values as church is we talk about being shaped by and shaping the East End. And I think that is so important. We're not a group of people who commute into church. We are actually a group of people who are part of our community and we want to reach our neighbors. We're really passionate about everyone being invited to become a follower of Jesus. And I think really prioritizing those who, who are overlooked, who don't get an invite. The least reach here are probably more least reach than ever. And that's why I believe that working with the London City Mission helps to address some of that need. One of the benefits of churches working with London City Mission teams is that we can help to discern who's around them on the local estates and then work out what's the best way of sharing the gospel with these communities. People live in local blocks, but they're not hearing the message about Jesus. Uh, that's what we can help to provide. We've been really blessed to have relationships with London City missionaries who understand our local community, who have lived here in many cases for a long time, and are people who've served in this community and bring with them a wealth of experience. And that's been a good thing for us as church. If we want our churches to be places of welcome to people of different cultures, we need to be leading intercultural lives ourselves. We need to be people who go to people who are very different, build friendships and make ourselves vulnerable. It is hands down the most welcoming church I've ever been to. I think because they have a genuine love for people from all different cultures, backgrounds, walks of life, they have that heart, they kind of really want to welcome people, not just like, oh, welcome to our church so you can hear the gospel. No, actually, welcome because we want to get to know your character, we want to get to know you, and we want to love you. As we serve our community, we want to make sure that hardwired in is an explanation of the good news. We want to be thinking about how does somebody coming along to this help them on their journey of discovery of Christian faith? To change an area like this takes a lifetime and being willing to commit for the long haul. And now 27 years later, we're still here and still passionate about seeing people come to faith in our community.